Hello and welcome to the iChan. My name is Dan Lal and I'm here today to talk to Mr. Jaheed Khan, consultant ophthalmologist at the world famous Moorfields Eye Hospital. Hello Mr. Khan. Hi Dev. Hi, now we've learned a lot about cataracts and it seems like a, a very modern and up-to-date kind of operation but I understand that's not quite the case. It's been around, people have been doing cataracts for a few years, is that right? That's right Dev. Um, to get to the point where we are with the modern day techniques of cataract surgery and ensuring uh, its, its phenomenally successful sort of uh, outcomes has taken thousands of years. Um, the first recording of cataract surgeries were very primitive indeed many thousands of years ago um, where you would remove the lens whole. Um, but thankfully with, with modern technology over the last hundred years we've actually refined the technique quite quite quickly. One of the first things really that we managed to do in this century, or last century I should say, is in, understand why people get problems such as infection and the development of antibiotics and medicines that suppress the inflammation associated with surgery have, have really revolutionized how we perform cataract surgery. And in the olden days, when we used to uh, unfortunately take out cataracts and not replace the lens when leaving people with very thick glasses, that was revolutionized by, by an observation by a, a, a man called Harold Ridley, who observed that World War II fighter pilots, who um, unfortunately suffered injuries in aeroplanes and developed problems with perspex in their eyes, he observed that these little flecks of perspex remained inert in the eye. Now why would that be important? Well he thought that if we could replace the cataract with an inert plastic lens that uh, we could correct for vision and that's exactly what he did. Um, and we've developed lenses which obviously replace the cataract and restore the vision to what it was before. And we've moved on leaps and bounds since then in terms of designing lenses which obviously have the ability to focus for different distances. So it really is a very exciting time in terms of cataract surgery. The big thing that we've managed to do in the last 20-30 years or so is reduce the chance of a large nick in the eye. So we've moved to what we call small incision surgery where the nicks are very very small, less than two and a half millimeters in some cases and what we do is use an instrument there which can remove the cataract whilst in the eye. We don't have to take the cataract whole from the eye, we can actually mulch it up within the eye in a technique called phacoemulsification and suck out the cataract. And that really has revolutionized the way we take out cataracts safely and effectively. And the most exciting thing recently is the development of lasers to do certain steps of these procedures. So you're quite right, we've, we've, we've managed to get to this, this stage of cataract surgery through refinement, but really in leaps and bounds in the last 100 years. Wow, that, that is incredible. The, the, the thought of some, some surgeon many years ago approaching an unanesthetized patient with a knife to operate on them is absolutely petrifying. It was a very terrifying ordeal for most patients. Couching, unfortunately, still performed in certain parts of rural Africa and India. and. Um, there are reports, unfortunately, in the old days where, where patients had to be held down. So thank, thankfully, we have, we've moved well on from that. Gosh, that is uh, petrifying. But I guess one thing it does do, though, is it does serve to show what we really know anyway, is how important your vision is. And people in those days were, so least some of them were willing to undergo these procedures because they had no choice, otherwise they wouldn't be able to see, I guess. Well, absolutely. If you're if you're faced with with very 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 poor vision, uh, you do pretty much anything to restore it. And thankfully, we don't have to go to such lengths. Uh, it's a uh, it's a good time. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, we've got people with uh, expertise like yours to thank for that, which is uh, which is good news. Um, tell me, if people want to learn more about you and, and what you do and how you can help people with vision problems, what should they do? Well, most patients can uh, visit the, my website, www.londonretina.com, on the internet, and they can find a whole host of information on there, uh, on different aspects of cataract surgery, how we do it, what our outcomes are, and if there are any particular questions, they can email me via that site. 
There's also a newsletter they can subscribe to, which gives them up-to-date information and all the latest news uh, and all my contact details for my private healthcare uh, and where I practice are on there, and they can contact my secretary, and I'll be more than happy to have a chat with them directly. Fantastic. Fascinating as ever. Thank you very much, Mr. Carr. Thank you very much, Dave.